I was at the Cowboys uh, training camp. I was doing a show with, ES on, with ESPN and uh, John Gruden, and we were down uh, doing a study on the Cowboys and see where their personnel was and talking about their training camp with a, with a training camp special. And I was down on the field and Jerry Jones, much like a day like today, the practice is going on and he's up in the tower. And I'm on the field walking around talking to guys and he called me up to the tower. And when I got up there, the entire Jones family was up there and I sort of knew something was going on and you know, I had the goosebumps and, and he told me, are you ready to, to go in the ring? And I said, bet you I'm ready to go in the ring. So it was, uh, it's a great experience, uh, an emotional time for me because you know, it's, it's a dream come true for me. I've always wanted to be, a, be in that ring of honor. And when I first came in as a Dallas Cowboy, the first names I saw in that stadium were Roger Staubach, Bob Lilly, Cliff Harris, some of the greats, Mel Renfro, some of the great names. I'm, and I'm missing a ton of guys that, that are great football players, but I saw those names in the banner uh, when I first came here as a Cowboy, and I wanted to be up there. And I wanted to do it not only the right way on the field, but on the field and represent the star the right way. And, uh, and for me, for the Jones family to call me up and say, hey, you're in the ring of honor, uh, that's it's special for me. But you know, it's, I started playing football when I was seven years old. Uh, I finished up when I was 36, 37 years old. So it's all I knew was playing Pee Wee football to junior high football to high school football to college. And, and that was my life. And, and basically that was my identity for the longest time. And, and I, I just, can, to, to this day, I can remember having a conversation when Bill Parcells took the job, first thing he asked me was, when you transition out of this, you only have a few more years left, what are you gonna do? And I didn't know, I honestly didn't know, you know, and that's when you're like, at 36 years old, my, I was still a young man. And the transition was simply because I, my identity was football, but it's so much more to life when you're done. Your life begins then, and that's, that's, the, hard, that's the hardest transition for any athlete. You know, I think I was one of the lucky ones. I really do. I feel like, uh, you know, this is my place. I'm happy that I never went anywhere else. I'm glad I was a cowboy and only a cowboy for life. And, uh, you know, I get a lot of recognition because of that. A lot of people come up to me, a lot of fans walk up to me and they, they appreciate the fact that I never left.